Hey, so today is day 29 of my 30 days of React challenge and today's a bit exciting because I've created a front end for the back end I created in my last video, which means this is my first ever full stack React Mern application. So what I've created is a simple sort of to-do list, note to self application. Let's take a look. So I'm going to start with a little um, demo. So first of all, you can add like a note to self. So let's and um, this because that's always good you can delete notes so let's delete this one i am tired and you can also update notes if we click this little edit i just turn that into a question update it and there we go um, this is pretty similar like front end wise this is pretty similar to other apps i've done like i've done a uh, post it no app a while ago, except the difference is since this is a database, when we reload the application, all of our data stays there, which is very exciting. So if I delete this, for example, and reload, hey. Okay, so let's quickly look over my code. Um, first file I'm going to look at is my notes.js, so my routes. Um, I looked at this, like, I talked this over in the last. Um, video but just to recap this is kind of the file file that allows my front end to add, to in, to communicate with my back end because it's where i define my api endpoints um so we've got get to um, find our notes we have post to add notes to the database we have delete to delete um posts but the one i've added since my last video is here router.patch because we also, in this app, want to be able to update data as well as just fetching it and deleting it. Okay, so now we're just going to jump over to my main app.js file, which is where I've got the bulk of my kind of stuff going on. Um, one thing I've done differently in this app from other apps where I've sort of used APIs is I'm using Axios. Um, in previous ones, I've used Fetch as my request library, but when I was looking through videos and I tutorials and reading it seems like most people tend to use Axios I think for an app of this level um, there's probably not much between them between Fetch and Axios but I decided this is a good chance to use Axios especially considering the internet seems to think it's kind of the better of the two to use it's a little bit more secure and it also automatically transfers your data into JSON format you don't have to kind of write an extra line of code and, and do it manually um, so let's take a wee look at some of the functions that I've written to help us kind of communicate with our API and access our data. And the first one we've got here is load data, which we call in component did mount. Um, and this is just an axios.get, so we're, at, we're accessing our route here as it defined, and we're calling all of the nodes from our database so we can use them. Um, so we call this obviously in component mount after our components have first rendered and then we want to populate them with our information. But we're also calling this function and fetching our data in a few other places, which is after we add notes to the database, after we delete notes into the database, and after we update notes. And that's because after we post or delete something from the database, we then need to get the newest version of all of our data whether it's including the new post or whether it's in, like excluding the one we've just deleted so that our app is all up to date for the user. After our load data, um, we have add note. So this is pretty self-explanatory really. We're posting data to our endpoint, to our database, but we've defined, before we do that, we've, def we've defined a new note with that new content that the user, users put through the input and then we're posting that to our database to be added. With delete, it's pretty similar, except we're telling our backend that we want to delete the item based on an ID. Um, again, for update note, pretty similar. Again, we're using the ID to tell the database which item it is that we're updating and then posting the new, new, new note content as defined by the user in the input and patching that through. The last thing I'm going to do is just kind of go through my components and show where I'm using each of these um, these functions in my app. 
So first thing we're going to look at is this little section here. Hey Grace, what's up with the input? That's a separate function, which um, separate component here called form, which is actually a stateful um, component. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty similar, pretty simple, but um, we've just got an input where the user types in what they want to add. We have an on change, which updates our state here. And then once we're ready, once the user is satisfied with what they've written in there, they click the on submit, which is a reference to our on submit um, function, which is our add note here. Um, the next component I want to take a look at is my notes. So each of these is a note component. And if we jump over to them, we'll see on the note we have one little function, which is um, delete note. So if you click this X, it's going to trigger that um, Axios stop delete request. Or if you click the button with the little um, edit, it's going to pop up our trigger edit box which is our final component. So I've actually set this up as a separate component if we click here. Um, and this again is a stateful component because we need um, this data to be held by the component, like the existing, um, the existing kind of content of that note so that the user then has the option of just going through and editing a little bit and so they can actually remember what they put there in the first place. Um, and again, we've just got an on change that updates this and holds the value of the input as the user kind of fiddles around and figures out what they want to put in there. And then we have a reference. Um, we're referencing our update note function on our on click once the user submits their updated version of the note. Cool. I think that's about it. Um, great. Very happy to have finished my first moon stack app, and I'll be back hopefully in a week with my final video, which I think we'll be testing, learning to um, test re React apps. Bye.